Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very interesting news and somewhat kind of funny and also somewhat kind of sad news when it comes to Jim Ryan, the good old CEO of PlayStation himself. And he actually does go make some statements talking about the PlayStation 5 restocks, PlayStation 5 stock numbers, and overall some kind of good stuff and kind of bad stuff when it comes to this. So I'm going to be talking about this, uh, referencing up this article over here from Tom's Guide, and I'll kind of just give you guys my thoughts and comments and all this stuff because there's definitely been a lot of crazy stuff when it comes to these PlayStation 5 restocks. And I'm sure the pressure of being like one of the really big head honchos in the middle of like a pandemic, in the middle of semiconductor shortages, in the middle of people literally complaining that they want to go and buy your product and they just you just don't have enough available. There's just a lot of stuff floating around that could definitely make someone feel a little bit more uncomfortable and also, of course, may put a little bit of pressure on their shoulders, which I think is kind of good because I do think a lot of us out there want to get our console. So the more they can make, the better. So we're going to be talking about this all throughout this video as well. If you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, a digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below and of course sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stack, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. There's always link down below. Just thank you guys always so much for watching. Like the video and comment all your thoughts down below too as well. So... This over here from Tom's Guide stating PS5 restocks will remain a mess, but Sony at least does feel bad about it. So at least they have a little bit of emotions going on over here. So uh, a little bit of a combination. There's also an interview as well with Reuters from PlayStation with Jim uh, Jim Ryan. So we're going to be talking about that and kind of giving my thoughts and chiming on in throughout this video. But because the PS5 is now officially sold 10 million units but don't expect to easily buy one soon, which this is why we're all kind of here on this channel. I'm sure you guys know. Make sure you guys are subbed. If you guys are here, I'll help you guys out the best I can. But basically... We've had like these really big news. Even yesterday, I talked about that video or it's been insane news. Like Sony's done extremely well. They've sold a lot of consoles. They've done very, very good this console generation. And even with all the setbacks they have going on, they've been doing well. But there's a lot of folks out there that are still trying to get their consoles, trying to buy their consoles. And of course, the stock is still instantly flying off the shelves, as you guys have probably seen throughout these past few weeks, past few months. It's just really hard to go and get. So basically, we have some statements on over here from Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Jim Ryan himself which actually has now commented on the continued PS5 stock shortages that have been plaguing the console since launch. It's not good news for anyone hoping to buy one without having to play the PlayStation 5 restock game, which is basically all of you guys hanging out with me. But you know what? I would not have it any other way. I love you guys. <laughs> so in an interview with Reuters, the PlayStation big boss actually said, we've built more PlayStations faster than we ever have before, which of course makes me happy. But on the other hand, we're, ha uh, we're some time from being able to meet the demand that's out there, which makes me feel bad. So those two statements right there, there's more he's going to say, but that number one makes me sad because we also had Jim Ryan kind of hyping up everyone being like, boys, summertime, we're getting our consoles, life's going good, we're bumping up the production the best we can, and I will go and say they actually have been doing extremely, extremely good. They've been bumping up as much production, they've been selling consoles like hotcakes, and they do keep the consoles keep on continually going for all the big retailers like Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Target, all of them. But it does make me sad too because this comment right here, and I want to like extra focus on that one, we're some time from being able to meet all the demand that's out there which makes me feel bad. So at least at one point, he does acknowledge it, that it's been hard. There's a lot of consumers out there wanting to get their consoles. So at least he gets that. He understands it, you know, whatever. But the one statement over there saying it's going to be some time before we can actually meet all the demands, that one is the one that kind of hurts me because before Jim Ryan was hyping on stuff up over here, saying like everything's going to be done soon. We'll be getting production soon, full swing of production. And they still have been doing insanely well. So don't forget, they just had 10 million consoles sold and also have been outpacing the PS4. So they're, they're doing extremely well, like extremely, extremely well. But just that statement alone is kind of just sad because before he's more of the hype man. <laughs> but basically on that now, that's like the sad news of the interview. But now the nice news over here, Ryan goes on to explain that one of the key issues impacting the company's ability to manufacture consoles is the ongoing global chip shortage, which I'm sure you guys all know about. Our partners are performing really well for us. But the chip shortage is definitely a challenge that we are all navigating, which makes sense, too. We've been dealing with that for the past, like, over a year now at this point, and it stinks because we want our consoles, but it's hard to kind of, you know, adjust from that. 
His quotes seem to confirm that being able to pick up a PS5 without the hassle of regularly checking listing, retail listings and following various stat track and social media accounts like me <laughs> is still a ways off, at least for the foreseeable future. The PS5 will continue to remain extremely elusive for anyone who isn't committed to putting in the work. So basically over there too, that's kind of like a, I guess, I don't know, like I feel like a lot of people who watch my channel, they're kind of in the know of when the next drops are going to be happening, at least they have in the rough idea for it, which is why I've been doing this every single day now for months upon months, because I want you guys to get your consoles, you know, I want you guys to get the hookup. So furthermore, with the holiday season only a few months away, the demand for the console will likely only increase, presumably without a significant stock boost to accommodate either. With also, there's also really big console exclusives like Deathloop and Horizon Forbidden West are also scheduled to launch before the series is out, which could also result in even more gamers eagerly hunting for a PlayStation 5 console, which I do want to agree on that. Number one, I think right now, if you guys can get your console in the next two, three months, that'll be the golden time because I'm sure you guys all know Black Friday goes insane. Like there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people trying to find deals, trying to find consoles. And if it's going to be anything like last year's Black Friday, it will be a madhouse. It'll be a lot of people trying to get their consoles. And especially for that Christmas time. So pretty much anything from like November 1st to around probably December, like 31st, probably going to be kind of scary. Probably going to have a lot of bad stuff going on and probably going to be just... A lot, a lot of work, a lot of work. I, I feel like though, at least on the opposite reverse side, we actually did have a really big fall off after last year's Christmas, which basically means that even no matter what happens, we will probably still go and get uh, like a lot more good stock. Like all these really big boys like Sony, they understand how good these holiday seasons are, especially in America. So I think no matter what, we will probably have a really good pickup for a lot more stock around that holiday time. There will also be a lot more demand, and I think right afterwards, too, we'll probably see a very massive fall for both scalper prices and side prices, too. Like, that actually might be the very tail end of all this hardcore restock stuff. Right after that, it might be very, very nice. But as well, it is going to be kind of weird, too, to see whenever Horizon, like, I'm sure they want to maybe push for that for the holiday season. Deathloop will be a good game, I'm sure, but I think Horizon will definitely be a way bigger console seller. While frustrating, frustrating this news it doesn't come as a great shock. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know that it's gonna. It's like they still make them. Like we're still getting them, but it's definitely still hard to go get. Uh, while frustrating this news doesn't come as a great shock. Previously anonymous industry analyst told Bloomberg that the PS5 stock levels aren't expected to improve until 2022. So. Once again, I think maybe if we can kind of go through that really bad uh, Black Friday and Christmas hump, we can maybe actually have a good rerun over that. Sony also has called the demand on the machine unprecedented, and the demand hasn't eased uh, even more than six months after the console launch in November 2020. It was also revealed this week that the PS5 is the fastest selling console in PlayStation 5 history, which I'm sure Jim Ryan's a little bit on the sad side too when it comes to the restocks, and I'm sure he wants to make more. But as well, it's just like a double whammy. Like basically, <laughs> basically, if they can sell more, that means that the PS5 is a great commercial success. So him as a CEO basically made it a great commercial success. So of course, he always wants that success. But as well, also to them, people get consoles, less people are frustrated, less people are like sitting up late at night trying to find target drops, Amazon drops, whatever it is. And I'm sure a lot more people will be a little more hyped up for that. And as well, they also have officially been, we talked about this in the previous video, but just for, I guess, like to finish up the article, they did also go and mention that we have officially beaten the PS4. Like this is, the PS5 is actually doing better than the PS4, even with all these massive, uh, like actual supply constraints that are going on. And as well, the most popular exclusives on the platform are still Spider-Man, Miles Morales, which I'm still surprised is doing so well, but of course, Spider-Man. We covered this on the previous days before. And of course, Ratchet and Clank is at like 1.1 million, but I'm sure those numbers are going to keep on going up and up and up and up and up as people keep on getting the consoles, keeping getting those like proper releases and going from there too as well. So very, very cool stuff. And I kind of want to hear your thoughts down below. My final little comments on this is that it stinks because Jim Ryan before was a little bit of a hype man. He was trying to hook us on up. He was trying to be like, hey guys, by summertime, don't you be stressing. Don't you be worrying. We'll hook you guys on up. And they still have made a record number of consoles. So I mean, all bad things aside, you got to give them a little bit credit. They're kind of putting their money where their mouth is. I just wish they'd be a little bit easier for us to go and get less bots, less scalpers, and just so a lot of you guys out there can watch on my channel can actually go get their consoles too. But as well, it is at least kind of nice to go and see that he is like at least sad, and they do want to give them some credit for their actual industry partners, which hopefully they can maybe go and try to bump up or try to weasel on in a little bit more stock as well with AMD to go help a lot of people out there and try to get their consoles too. So if you guys want to give your thoughts and comments all throughout this, feel free to. Uh, it's always kind of interesting to see these very, very higher ups at C Sony actually go and talk whether it's Jim Ryan or the Japanese studio squad because well 
and just interesting it's just cool to kind of see how everything's kind of going on and how the stock is going etc cetera, etc cetera. so hopefully in the very near future we can go and get our consoles hopefully all you guys can get them very very soon and as well if you guys ever want to go check out our nice little affiliate links down below make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on for the playstation 5 giveaway restock news sony news like this channel news whatever it is twitter and twitch stream as well also linked down below because you just want to go follow that on up uh twitch stream if you just want to hang out and chill amazon links for the ps5 disc digital console controller all that good stuff sign up for coinbase deposit 100 dollars. you guys go get free stack free money sign up for weeble and deposit 100 dollars. you guys go get just also free money too as well so if you guys ever want to use those please use them down below like the video and give me your thoughts and comments and we'll keep on trying our best to go and hopefully get over this playstation 5 restock saga i appreciate you guys all so much for watching hanging out and chilling you guys are all beautiful and i'll see you guys up later on throughout today for some more videos love you guys